You see, before I start to answer the question, just to know the difference, according to Islam, and even I think according to Judaism, the sin cannot come from one cre creature to another one. You see, God doesn't punish us because of the sin of or the mistake of our father or Adam. It is not justice. Our God is just. He doesn't punish us because of the sin of Adam, and it is it was his. Even even about Adam, some scholars they believe that this story is a metaphorical story. It's not a real story. It's just God want to show us or to show to show Adam that be careful of your enemy. The first question is according to your scripture or teachings. What is the cause of hardships, disasters, pandemics, or do they randomly occur? To answer the first question, I must mention a few laws or rules in the Quran, the scripture. Nothing in this world is accidental and everything happens for a reason. And the second rule, man has authority and free will and he is influential in world events. So man is the cause of his own problems. And of course, above all, is the will of God. In other words, we can say like this, that difficulties and hardships are tests and rewards for those who done their duty. And according to wrongdoers, there are punishments. Like a test in a school, you see, or exam. For the students that they did their duty and they studied, it is very good. And it is like a reward when they see the results. But for those who didn't study, the result will be like a punishment. But they did themselves. They cannot say it was the teacher. So we can say in, in above all is the teacher. But that student has free will, and he decided to obey or not, to study or not, to do his duty or not. The second question that if mankind is naturally good, what is the origin of mankind's wrongdoing or desire to do wrong according to the scripture? According to the teaching of Islam, man has both a divine nature and an animal instinct. The perfection of man is to act according to the divine nature and to control his animal instincts. Man can be like an angel and even higher, or he can be like an animal or even lower. The duty of religion is to show him, show man the right path. In other words, man has both intellect and lust. And man's happiness and salvation is that his lust is under the command of reason, intellect, and not vice versa. The philosophy of the precepts of Islam is to rule and dominate the intellect over lust. It's nice to know that according to Islam, Satan is a creature of God, and his duty is to tempt man to determine who obeys the divine messengers and who obeys the devil. And both groups will see the consequences of their behavior. The third question is, how can that desire to do wrong be resolved? In short answer, repentance and obeying the rules. Because of this, we believe that a religion that is the plan of the creator for the creatures should have clear rules. By obeying these rules, man is following his divine nature and he is in the right path. 